So I'm a software engineer here at Solera Health. Uh, we at Solera started using Retool roughly 11 months ago. We were searching for an internal tools platform that is quick and easy to develop and came across Retool. So first up, who are we? Uh, Solera is founded in 2015 and is headquartered in Phoenix, Arizona. Solera connects people to evidence-based community and digital lifestyle and wellness programs to maintain and improve their health. We work with insurance company and service providers and match consumers to best fit programs to improve their outcomes. We also manage like their value-based payments through medical claims. So what we offer? We offer a variety of health and wellness solutions to help improve the lifestyles of our consumers. We started with diabetes prevention and are expanding further into uh, weight management, tobacco cessation, false prevention, social connections, and mental health. So before Retool, we were building out our internal tooling application using React. Setting that up from scratch was taking a tremendous amount of time. So that is why we kind of migrated to Retool. So maintaining and testing packages are done on the Retool side automatically. When using React, uh, maintaining and updating packages could break something unexpectedly. So Retool helped us alleviate that concern. Secondly, before Retool, we were using Material UI and modifying every single component from scratch. This took up a lot of time and using Retool component library we no longer need to create our custom components for internal tooling, although we still do this for external facing apps. Third and fourth point is that we are able to accelerate our internal tooling as well as iterating on changes way faster. Retool offers us that and we were able to move other developers to focus on external facing projects instead. Lastly, we can also manage the permissions of our user by placing users in different user groups in all of our applications and modules, we use user groups to effortlessly hide and show modules as well as certain functionalities for different types of users. Due to the nature of our data, we decided that we would do a screenshot-based demo. We have a couple of Retool applications that we have built for different teams at Solera. And in this demo, I will be going through one of the more complex ones. This application hosts a total of 12 different modules and hundreds of different queries. This is an application that allows our internal teams such as finance, marketing, call center to be able to search for participants within our system to view and edit a lot of information regarding them. Here, the user can search for a participant using their first name, last name, payer, date of birth, subscriber ID, patient ID, and care plan ID. And once they search for a patient, those search results will be populated and they can click on a specific patient. And after clicking on a specific patient, this container will appear right below the search result. Here, the user will be able to see more information regarding the selected participants, such as their name, their preferred name, the date of birth, the payer, the patient ID. And below that, the user can view the programs that the participant is committed to inside the care plans tab, the clinical lab values that this participant has, the finance team can view the charge items that have been built for this participant, what are the coverages of this participant, our call center team can change the demographic information for this participant, create service desk tickets to keep a record of all phone calls the agent had with this participant, why did this participant qualify or not qualify for a program in the survey tab, um, what are the devices that have been sent to this participant, and what are the electronic communications that we have sent to this participant, as well as the related member of their family information right here. In the Kaplan's tab, the user can check the program information for this participant. And if this participant has multiple programs associated to him or her, they can select this drop down to change the programs associated to this participant. And all of the values down below will be changed according to the, a specific program. The call center team also has the ability to switch a program for a participant, disenroll them from a program, as well as commit them through our onboarding journey to a new program. So let us dive further into the demographics tab. In our demographics tab, the user can change the, the information of this participant that will def update our database. Just to name a few, they can update their name, their gender, date of birth, uh, race and ethnicity, address, phone and email, contact preferences, 
and all of that will be updated. We also have a logs tab that will allow the users to view demographic information of what has been changed in the past for this participant and who exactly in V2 made the change. As we move along to the survey tab, this is where our call center team can view what programs is this participant qualified for. What's the CDC points that they achieve? What is the reason of them being qualified or disqualified? And when they took this questionnaire. And when they click into a specific questionnaire, all of the question and answers will be populated down below. So this would change based off the different questionnaire that they click into. So due to time constraints, I'm not able to go deeper into that application, but let us celebrate on the wins that we have achieved with Retool. So back then we had to use different software to acquire all the data we needed. Now we are connected to 10 different resources in our Retool instance, uh, ranging from our in-house REST API, Salesforce, Service Desk, Managed Engine, BigQuery, Opta, Off0, and many more. We can centralize all of our information from different resources all in a single application easily, which is a huge win for us since we store the data in different places. We were also able to reduce the engineering overhead by using Retool and allow more engineers to focus on our other project. We deploy our Retool on-premise by using Google Kubernetes and host two different instances of Retool, staging and production in-house, syncing the data from our staging environment to our production environment is straightforward by using Gitsyn. Retool is a very easy to pick up but hard to master application, software building platform. You can create a very simple application within the matter of hours, while you can also create a very complex application with the use of all the different JavaScript packages available online, uh, HTML, CSS, or even custom components. Since we are an enterprise customer, we have a bi-weekly call with a deployed engineer at Retool and a Slack channel with Retool to ask any questions we have in mind. They usually respond to any questions we have uh, within hours, which we are really thankful for. So that concludes my presentation. Thank you for tuning in our Solera Retool Lightning Demo.